and they're off. Thunder in Typhoons. Perhaps Bardazan was a little bit slow into stride. King Viserys, one of the first to break. Infrared right there. Spelling bees handy. That's in the gold and red colours. Racing in third in the white sheep can nose band as their horses on the outside pushing forward. Firing on all engines in the pink and rainbow colours also committing to good positions but they are working hard. Double distilled white sleeves and cap races in about sixth place. They followed further back in running by Lord Quinn. That hugs the rail the white sleeves and the red cap. Next best we find the likes of Undercover Lover, Thunder and Typhoons, Greenlanders one off the fence. Then a length and a half away to Cosmic Rhythm. That's in the red cap racing around three quarters of the way back Norshon, Mo Flo, four jacks leaving Sir Anthony at the rear of the field as they make their way through the final 800 meters. Firing on all engines in front by a length and a half. Thunder and Typhoons worked hard at the outside. Has now raced up into second from midfield. King Viserys will swing in third. Infrared, rainbow colours. Greenland's also got a wriggle on. Spelling B comes for home, racing about six off the leader. Lord Quinn at that one's inside. Double distilled. Undercover lover. Next best, Cosmic Rhythm. That makes a run towards the outside. Norshon went to the inside rail. Then comes Mo Flo. Four Jackson a long way back to Sir Anthony. 300 metres out. And now now infrared strides forward, takes the lead from King Viserys, firing on all engines, and Spelling B's got two to make up. Greenland also trying to land a blow, but infrared got first run, holds a two-length lead. Norshon, Greenland, Spelling B got no answer. It's infrared who wins. Norshon ran second, Greenland third, then came Spelling B. Lord Quinn, Mo Flo, Sir Anthony. So the winner is racing the red sleeves and the yellow cap. That's in for red, who gets produced a long way out. Came for home in a handy enough position. But uh, once he got first run, that was pivotal. Norshon out the pack. Best finisher in the race. Greenland spelling B left to whack away for minor money. But in for red arrives in race number three. Race four will be called by Devon Pretorius. It'll be the return of the horse of the year, Princess Color. It's also the start of the pick six at 10 past two. And also Hollywood Bet Scottsville's pick six starts at five to two. Race three, the Cape Racing Sales Maiden Plate has been won by M number seven, Infrared, the son of uh, twice over from the Brett Crawford Yard. Well done to M Matabazi. He receives his thousand rand. Thank you to Hollywood Bets and Cape Racing. And uh, Brett, lovely win from this horse. He just kept on rolling once he hit the front. Yeah, um, you know, like I said before, uh, just a natural progression from his last start. Uh, he's a horse that's only learning what he, what he has to do now. Um, so I thought he won well. Louis got him in a perfect spot. Um, the race went for him and um, bided his time. And then, you know, when he asked him to quicken, he quickened up well. So uh, very well done. Um, must say to Abishak, I'm sure he'll be very happy. Spoke to him this morning. So I'm sure he watched. Um, it's his grandfather's birthday. So it's a nice birthday present for the family. Is indeed. Well done to you for the win. Thank you. Yeah, well then to uh, Brett Crawford and his team, lovely win from Infrared, uh, quite um, a horse that didn't have too much luck in running last time out, but uh, thankfully third time of asking, he's uh, made it a victorious one, so a really good win, what normally stud, uh, well done to them on breeding, and uh, lovely win for the owners too, also with regards to uh, Mr. Gujira, lovely win, so at uh, number seven, Infrared uh, is indeed your winner of race three.